Publius Cornelius Tacitus, Annales, Episode 11. Neque provinciae illum rerum statum abnuebant, suspecto senatus populique imperdrio ab certamina potentium et avaritiam magistratuum, in valido legum auxilio, quae vi ambitu postremo pecunia turbabantur. As Tacitus continues, he describes how the provinces received the new state of affairs in which Augustus was the sole ruler. He says, nor did the provinces, here's our subject, feminine, plural, and nominative, that state of affairs, illum statum rerum, deny, or negate, or disapprove of. So here's our subject, provincii, the verb is abnuebant, which is third plural, imperfect, indicative, and active, from abnuo, abnuere, a third conjugation verb. Its object is statum, in the masculine singular accusative, modified by illum, and then we have rerum here. So the rerum status is the state of affairs, the status quo, or how things are, we might say. So again, Tacitus says, the provinces did not disapprove of illum rerum statum, and now he's going to give a reason. The reason is suspecto imperio, since the power or the authority of the senate, senatus, and of the people, populique, was held in suspicion, suspecto. So imperio here, neuter, singular, and ablative, this is an ablative absolute, modified by suspecto, which is the same gender number in case, then in between we have senatus in the masculine singular and genitive, its fourth declension, as you can see, and populi in the same gender number case, but second declension. Since the power or the authority of the Senate and people were held in suspicion, why? Ob. Now we're going to get a prepositional phrase introduced by ob. Now the preposition ob takes always and only the accusative, and our accusatives then are kertamina and awaritiam. So kertamina is neuter plural and accusative. It is a third conjugation, third declension, noun kertamin, kertaminis, and it is neuter. The second object of the preposition ab is awaritiam, feminine singular accusative and first declension. Was held in suspicion because of the conflicts of the aristocrats, the kertamina, the, the contests of those who held power, and because of the greed, awaritiam, of the political officials, magistratuum. So here we have potentium, masculine, plural, and genitive. It's used as a substantive because potens is an adjective. And we have magistratuum, masculine, plural, and genitive. The first one here, potentium, is third declension, but magistratuum, as you can see from the ending, is fourth declension. So that's the first reason he gives. The provinces did not disapprove of the present state of affairs because the authority imperio of the Senate and people were suspect on this reason, ob through magistratuum. And here's the second reason now, invalido auxilio. Auxilio, neuter, singular, and ablative. I take this as a second ablative absolute, like suspecto imperio, and invalido then is modifying it in the same gender number case. Now, it's the case that we can have an ablative absolute with a noun and adjective, which is what we have here. There is no participle of esse in classical Latin, and so there is no way to add in this participle. But this is a common way, then, to form an ablative absolute with simply a noun and an adjective. And the help, auxilio, or the support, legum, of the laws, feminine plural genitive, the support of the laws had been invalidated or was weak in walido. Then the relative clause here from quae through turbabantur is going to be modifying legum. How do I know? Because quae is feminine plural and nominative, and its antecedent then is legum. So then, what kind of laws were they? They were laws which were thrown into confusion, a turbabantur, third plural, imperfect, indicative, and passive. Laws that were in turmoil were thrown into confusion. This is the first conjugation verb, turbo, turbardre, like so. And how were they thrown into disarray? 
by violence, that's we, by ambition, ambitu, and finally by money or bribery. So we have here three ablatives. We have we in the feminine singular ablative. We have ambitu in the masculine singular ablative, fourth declension. And we have pecunia in the feminine singular ablative, which is first declension. And then postremo here, taken adverbially. So they were approving of the state of affairs. The provinces were suspecto imperio, and also because the help of the laws was weakened, laws which were in chaos for three reasons, we, ambitu, and finally, pecunia. And finally, a little lighthearted anachronism, courtesy of AI image generator. Here's an image of Tacitus uh, sipping his coffee while he works on his histories. Thank you so much for watching this free video. I hope that you learned a lot about the classical languages and advanced your knowledge and enjoyment. You can help us keep going with this instruction if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've had hundreds of thousands of views in the last nine years, and we would really like to grow our number of subscribers. If you hit the little bell, you will be notified every time we release a brand new free instructional video. You can also check out one of my Latin or Greek courses at latinperdm.com or mossmethod.com. Check the links if you'd like to study Latin and Greek with me directly. So keep learning and wale tote omnes.